Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is March the 7th, 2022. SoFi, yeah, SoFi stock may be screwed. And I'm going to show you why just by looking at the price chart. I know you all may not want to hear it. I know you all are filling up your bags because the price is trading around all time low areas because you think in the next 10 to 15 years that this stock is going to be more valuable than where it is right now. I get it. I understand. But what if I tell you that the market in SoFi may continue to fall? in price while the whole time you thinking that the market has found the bottom that might not be the bottom because somebody is selling the market right it may not be you you might not be a seller you, you're a buyer but somebody is selling it to you and they're selling it because they understand that the weakness is going to continue i'm going to show you all that from the chart without the confusion so welcome to hfn we're also known as chief news i'm the one that is dropping price predictions on the price chart without the confusion Everyone else in this space is causing nothing but confusion. And I just sit back and I am amused at how so many people think they understand how the market works and they don't. You guys can see I did a price prediction in SoFi on the 22nd of February. I was telling you all then that I'm looking for the price to go down. I got something else to show you today. So make sure you hit that like button. Instead of being also subscribe to the channel, I want you all to join me because our subscribership is growing massively. There's a lot of people who want to understand how this game is played. And if you do, this is the spot. You're not going to get this anywhere else. Look at this. I did a video, like I said, on the 22nd of February. I was anticipating the price in SoFi to go down. People tell you that you can't time the market. Yes, you can. You can actually get pretty close to where the market is going to flip because on the 22nd of February, we was looking for the market to dip down here, right? Look at this. Go back and see the video. The video is still available. It's in the SoFi playlist. I was telling you all that we could see the price come all the way down towards $9. Look what happened right there on the 24th of February. That is where the bottom was. And right there at the bottom is when the price started to go up in SoFi. Come on. It's as simple. So that's around 20, almost 20 and three quarters of a percent profitability right there. Cool. It's done. That is over. Let's take that away. Let's take this away. And the next thing I wanted to show you is that right here on March the 2nd, that confirmed the top right now in SoFi. Okay. This is the top. This is where the sellers are at. And it goes all the way back here to March the 5th, 2021. So it's been about a year. The market in SoFi hit a restriction point when it was acting as support just last year. So this whole area right here is where the sellers are at because price could not break above 12 or $13, excuse me. So until that time, we need to expect the market in SoFi at best to do this. Okay, let me get rid of that. Until that time, we need to expect the market in SoFi to bounce, to consolidate. That's the best thing that we're going to get out of this market in SoFi. It's consolidational trading. So, considering that we have that now, that's going to be our expectation. This is the top, $13. Now, the bottom... It's where we need to talk. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you as to how SoFi may be screwed. Because the bottom, the all time low came in on the 24th. Do you think that's going to hold as support going forward? That's the question. Because this area of support, this horizontal line that I got drawn on my chart, this is where I wanted the buyers to come in. This is where I wanted them to hold the price. And what happened on the 4th of March tells me that they're not there yeah the buyers are not at ten dollars and fifty cents they're going to be somewhere else and they're going to be lower than that hmm now let me show you something else let me show you SoFi on a three weekly time frame okay because this is where we're still seeing weakness right here and I got to keep it real Considering the last three three weekly price bars, like look at all of this volume 
that came into SoFi the last three weekly price bars. Look at all this volume. And price is still going down. Price is still closing lower than the previous three weekly price bar. Somebody is really trying to get up off their SoFi stock. Is it the CEO? I don't know. Is it a hedge fund? I don't know. Is it another board member, board director of SoFi? I don't know. But looking at all this volume, somebody's trying to get up off their SoFi in the market. And by us seeing this trading around all time lows, this is resemblance of a falling knife, meaning that we don't know where the buyers are at. I got to keep you a buck. I don't know where they're at because the last time we saw the buyers were here when the market first started trading in SoFi. We broke that just three weeks ago. Look at this on the weekly. This is another massive indication that this market is extremely weak in SoFi. We don't want to see this when we're trading at all time lows. We don't want to see these type of weekly price bars because it tells us that this market is going to continue to fall. And when it continues to fall towards areas that we have not seen price trade before, you got to be careful. I'm just here to tell you that I don't know how low the market's going to go, but I do know that this chart is weak. I do know that SoFi is still showing us weakness even at levels to where we should be finding buyers. Buyers should be showing up right now in SoFi, but instead we saw last week price in SoFi go all the way up here to $13. You guys remember that? We got rejected again, just like we did on these weekly price bars to close at the very low. That's weakness. Yes. I'm not looking for the price in SoFi to go up right now. This is what I'm trying to show you is a bearish market. I mean, it's a bearish market. Price is anticipated to continue to go down. And I don't know how low it's going to go. I got to keep the buck. I don't. So the comment section is open. You all can drop me your price target as to how low you think the price in SoFi is going to go. I mean, I know you're going to hear a lot of people saying that they're buying up the stock. It's trading around areas that we've seen in 2020. But I'm the one that's telling you that we're going to continue to go a lot lower than that. Or at least... That is my expectation. So let me go ahead and drop this on the chart. Okay. Now, only thing I can tell you is that buyers may possibly approach the market in SoFi on the low end of this bar right here that occurred on February the 22nd, 2022, that week. That low was $8.82. So that's going to be my price target around that level eight dollars maybe nine dollars anywhere outside of that is free reign price can go a lot lower i know a lot of people are not anticipating that but we have to okay so as long as sofi trades below uh twelve dollars and forty cents let's do that even though i know 13 is restriction we're going to anticipate this market continue to go down. Okay. So now let me push this over to the daily because I like to follow the market on a daily time frame. Matter of fact, I'll bring it up there towards 13. And we're going to follow the market in SoFi. Like I said, $8, $0.82, cents, $9 is the first area for us to grab some profitability. All right. That's 11.64%. Anything outside of that? It's your choice. I don't know. You just had to take the bag because we are in uncharted territory right now in SoFi. And I don't think a lot of people understand that this is a massive downtrend right now. And the buyers have not shown up yet. All right. So this is what I'm looking at. I want you all to tell me real quick. Uh, what is your price target? What is your expectations in the market in SoFi? Where are you expecting the price to go? You guys know what I'm thinking. All right. Tell me. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.